Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a quick little video talking about my tips on how to get clear skin. Also, I do apologize if you can hear any road noise. That's just, you know, the traffic. So just try and ignore that. But I have closed the windows, so I have tried, but I am really close to a road. I'm gonna try and make this video quick. I've wanted to make it for literally months because I have got like a few good tips on how to clear your skin. That doesn't mean to say that my skin is always clear. Obviously, different things will make your skin have spots and things like that. And I'm going to be talking about why that happens or why you might get spots. If you have acne, that is completely different to like a small breakout or a, or a few spots and these won't always work for that. I did used to have acne and you can't necessarily treat acne using these things. I did actually have to go to the doctor for that. So maybe that's something that you will have to do as well. But these tips will help with your acne, but it won't treat it unless it's, you know, not very bad. But acne is a skin condition. It's not caused by like dirt and things like that, or it's not caused by not washing your face. It's an actual skin condition and like a hormone imbalance, etc. So that's completely different. But let's get into the video. So I've got a little list over here on my laptop. I'm just gonna go through them quite quickly. So number one is actually something that I didn't think about really I thought oh yeah okay and it's to drink more water and it really genuinely does help your skin and I don't understand why I think it must be because obviously your cells are a lot more hydrated and you know I, I don't know but it helps anyway and I noticed that when I started drinking a lot more water a few months ago that that really helped with my skin so it's not just something that people say it actually is true. Number two, eat healthier. As soon as I started eating healthier which means vegetables, fruits, things like that and not you know eating fatty foods all the time my skin was a lot better and obviously that's because your skin needs these vitamins that are in the good foods and the cells in your body needs all of the um, kind of goodness that's in foods and things like that and vegetables vegetables so that's why your skin will look better if you eat healthier also exercise is a massive one i honestly think this really helps my skin if i've done a run or if i've done a workout and i'm sweating it's almost like i'm sweating the bad stuff out my skin and then later on in the day my skin looks so much clearer so just doing a bit of exercise here and there can really help just kind of sweat out all of like the bad things like that and if you don't want to exercise and you want to sweat bad things out your skin i have got a little tip later on in this video that will help you with that okay the next one is to keep your pillows clean so if they're not clean you are going to be putting your face onto that pillow every single night and any bacteria that could be on that pillow will transfer straight onto your face so it is really important to make sure that you are keeping your pillows clean and you know regularly making sure that there's nothing on them even if you don't see dirt there can be bacteria and dirt on them and obviously that will transfer onto your face and every single day the bacteria will just build up and build up and build up and you can get spots and things like that and dirt in your skin so keep your pillow clean number five is to also keep your makeup brushes clean so again you are going to be applying product to your face products that might have bacteria on them themselves the brushes over time will get dirty they will develop bacteria and if you are using them to apply your makeup then that can cause spots and things like that on your skin spots and impurities everything like that on your skin if your makeup brushes are dirty so make sure that you are cleaning them regularly that doesn't mean all of the time it just means you know every so often give them a good clean and make sure that there's like nothing on them because if you are experiencing spots that's a good way to start is to make sure that everything you put on your face is clean and also when you apply your skincare products make sure that your hands are clean before you start to apply them because there's no point in applying skincare if your hands aren't clean in the first place because you're basically going to be just applying bacteria to your skin as well so make sure that you know your hands are clean before you start doing that a big one which is number six is to make sure that you don't touch your face during the day so what really helps me is actually wearing a full face of makeup like now it's quite uh, it's quite funny that I'm doing this video talking about having clear and good skin and I'm just got a full face of makeup on but that's just me that's just who I am I'm not covering up my skin I can happily walk around with no makeup on and go to the shops with no makeup on and do anything but I just like to do my makeup and I just I just like it so don't come for me 
wearing makeup does help to not touch your face and what I find is that some days when I don't wear makeup I do actually start to kind of touch my face and I do get a few spots because you could have bacteria on your hands from things that you're doing during the day you touch your face that bacteria is now on your face so that it does help to wear makeup but I wouldn't recommend wearing makeup all the time and every single day I would probably recommend one or two days a week what I don't wear makeup on and those days I kind of just get tasks done around the house and just be quite busy and just try not to touch my face on those days but when you've got makeup on it's a lot easier not to touch your face because you don't want to ruin the makeup so that's a good tip and also makeup doesn't cause spots if everything is clean if everything is sanitized if you remove your makeup properly it won't cause spots on your skin and some people say that it does but in my personal opinion it doesn't and what I've experienced and what I've done as long as you go to sleep at night you've removed your makeup completely and fine you've given your skin a little bit of a chance to breathe before doing your skincare routine and everything is all clean and nice then putting makeup on your face is not an issue if you keep makeup on your face for like a really long period of time then maybe it would have an impact on your skin but I don't keep my makeup on for that long I would say I probably keep my makeup on for about six hours a day and wash it off and I haven't touched my face I haven't done anything with it it's almost like a, a barrier um, and a defense makeup is not a problem for me and my next point was um, to just remove your makeup properly I use the chamomile cleansing butter from the body shop um, just to get off my makeup and that works really really well and then give it a good wash and then what I do like to do is to after I've washed my skin I actually um, remove my makeup and wash my skin and then I do a workout then after that I will have my evening meal and then I will do a face mask so I've given my skin a chance to breathe between you know washing my skin and the face mask a couple of hours and then I actually give my skin a chance to breathe between the face mask and my skincare which I do at about 10 p.m so I think it's good to have your skin where there's like nothing on it no skincare nothing like that it's just completely bare I also would recommend doing a mask regularly i actually do a face mask every single day it's a different one every day i have about seven face masks i know it's stupid but they're all different some of them are meant for clearing your skin some of them are meant for hydrating the skin some are there for like moisturizing awakening you know glowy skin there's so many different ones and that's why every single day i use a different one and i i love doing it i really like it i just pop a face mask on do the washing up and then wash it off or make the tea wash it off that kind of thing so i do enjoy doing a face mask so i would recommend that my face mask that's on my website is this one here this is the one that i home make and i sell this is the fresh faced by georgie carr detox clay face mask this has got tea tree in it it is a really good mask for clearing spots i was saying to my mom the other day that this is actually my favorite face mask and i was like that's actually you know that's actually not a lie like that is actually genuinely my favorite face mask especially if my skin has got spots or it's like not looking that clear as soon as i put that on and take it off my skin feels so fresh and it looks clearer and i'm i'm not even lying and i wouldn't say that if it's not true and it genuinely is my favorite face mask that i own and yeah I'm so glad of that because I genuinely do believe in this face mask and if you do want to check it out I will link my website in the description. Please take my word for it that this face mask is really good for spots because it is. Also what I'd recommend is that you do use hydrating products as well as quite stripping products because I know a lot of people tend to think oh I need to use really harsh products like witch hazel or you know tea tree um, all over my skin and nothing else. Make sure you are moisturising as well because not every part of your face has got spots on it only the areas with the spots are the areas that you need to target with a tea tree or with you know a spot gel everywhere else needs to stay moisturized and needs to stay hydrated so make sure that you're using all of the other products that you have to use as well and do use a moisturizer etc keep your face moisturized i would recommend also after you've done your whole skincare routine to go onto those specific spots using some tea tree oil this is the one that i sell on my website i am selling products that are aimed at clearing the skin but i think that's because I used to have acne so I kind of understand that a little bit more um, but this is um, pure tea tree oil by me it's 30 mil so usually when you buy a tea tree oil it will probably be about 10 mil from a shop 
um, unless you buy it in a large amount but yeah this is 30 mil it is on my website i will link it down below you just dot it straight onto the spots with a little cotton pad this is not something that you want to be putting all over your face because it will dry your skin out and i do not want that and you do not want that just on specific spots and you'll wake up in the morning your spots will be reduced or even gone and i swear by this stuff and that is why i sell it Make sure also that you are consistent with your skincare routine. If you're not consistent with your skincare routine and you're not consistent with removing your makeup and sometimes you sleep in your makeup, um, then you're gonna have problems. So make sure that you do stick to it. And always wash your face. If you're not washing your face, any bacteria that's on it throughout the day, even if you don't wear makeup, if you go to sleep and you haven't washed your face and any bacteria that is on your skin will still be there festering on your skin throughout the night. When you're doing daily activities and daily tasks, you might be empty in the bin. Any bacteria that goes happens to you know attach itself to your face will then be sat on there all night and you do not want that. Um, you want some nice skincare products that are gonna be working its way, you know, through the night. Night time is the perfect time to have really good skincare on your face that can really benefit you. Also, do not overuse tea tree products. A lot of people do this where they have a tea tree wash, tea tree scrub, tea tree moisturizer, tea tree everything. It will dry out your skin, especially um, if you've got sensitive skin, it will really impact that and it can actually, you know, irritate your skin. Just be clever about it. You know, use one or two tea tree products as well as some others. Maybe mix and match and mix them out or just literally Literally have a tea tree oil and a tea tree face mask but yeah don't overuse them because it can really sting your skin and actually almost aggravate your spots also a good one if you don't want to exercise and um, sweat out any bad stuff put your face over a bowl of like hot boiling water obviously don't put it in the water and the steam from that will open up your pores get any dirt out and then just wash your face afterwards and that is honestly like the best thing ever I do that as well as well as exercising so that is everything for how to look after your skin how to reduce spots acne anything like that you know get rid of spots clear your skin and just make sure that you are following all of those things because then your skin will be the best that it can be it doesn't mean it's going to be 100 clear but just the best that it can be at that stage in your life remember the products that i mentioned which are the ones that are on my website please check them out in the description on my website delivery is three to five days at the minute and yeah thanks for watching please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video. Goodbye!